Chaos just announced the availability of V-Ray 7 for 3ds Max. If you're into architectural visualization or 3D rendering, you'll want to stick around because this release is packed with features designed to make your work faster, easier, and more realistic. Let's go through the 14 key updates that V-Ray 7 has to offer. Number 1. Gaussian Splats for Realistic Point Clouds One of the coolest new features in V-Ray 7 is the support for Gaussian Splats. This allows you to create incredibly detailed environments by leveraging point cloud-based techniques. Imagine being able to blend real-world environmental scans with your 3D assets effortlessly. This feature is perfect for bringing depth and realism to your scenes, making the context around your renders look more lifelike. Number 2. V-Ray Luminaires from Chaos Cosmos Another standout feature is V-Ray Luminaires, available from the Chaos Cosmos library. These new assets let you add precise lighting effects to your scene faster than ever before. Whether you are working on an interior or exterior project, these luminaires help create immersive lighting with minimal setup time. Number 3. Firefly Removal for Cleaner Images We all know how frustrating those little bright spots, known as fireflies, can be in a render. With V-Ray 7, eliminating those distractions is as easy as a single click giving you a cleaner, more polished image. This not only saves time, but also ensures your final output looks professional. Number four, enhanced V-Ray Sun and Sky model. V-Ray 7 also introduces an enhanced Sun and Sky model with support for nautical twilight. Now you can create even more realistic sunrise and sunset scenes with the added ability to render at different observer altitudes. This feature captures the nuances of natural light better than ever, making your environmental renders look immersive and stunning. Number 5. Custom Shaped Render Regions Here's a feature that will make a lot of us happy. Now, you can render only the parts of a scene that you need without wasting resources. Want to focus on a specific detail without the extra render time. You can create multiple regions of any shape, optimizing render times and honing in on what matters most in your scene. Number 6. Vignette Layer for Focus Composition V-Ray 7 also introduces a new vignette layer within the frame buffer. This lets you subtly guide the viewer's attention to the focal point of your render. It's a simple yet powerful tool for enhancing the overall composition, and the best part is, it's highly flexible and easy to use. Number 7. Non-Destructive Color Correction Presets Another exciting update is the addition of non-destructive color correction presets. You can now easily browse and preview different film looks or grading options right in the V-Ray frame buffer, and the changes are non-destructive. This means you can experiment without losing your original data, making it great for iterating and finding that perfect look. Number 8. Chaos Cloud Virtual Tours with Hotspots If you've been looking to make your projects more interactive, V-Ray 7 has you covered with Chaos Cloud Virtual Tours. With automatic hotspots, you can now guide your audience through your scenes creating an engaging experience that clients and stakeholders will love. This is particularly useful for showcasing complex projects and giving viewers more context. Number 9. Chaos Scatter Instance Brush for Artistic Control Let's move on to the new Chaos Scatter Instance Brush. This tool lets you paint instances directly onto your scene, offering precise control over the placement of elements like plants or crowds. It's an intuitive way to get that perfect distribution, 
allowing you to add a layer of artistry to your scene composition. Number 10, faster scene export and improved scatter distribution. V-Ray 7 also improves workflow efficiency by making scene exports faster, especially for heavy scatter scenes. Texture map-based scatter distribution now makes it easier to achieve more realistic density variations, which means more lifelike environments without the added effort. Number 11. Chaos Cosmos Asset Variants Chaos Cosmos now comes with asset variants, which means you can switch between different versions of an asset seamlessly. No need to replace or re-import. This is a huge time saver when iterating through options to get the right look for your project. Number 12, V-Ray Profiler for Performance Insights. The V-Ray Profiler is another welcome addition. It helps you track rendering times, shader calculations, and more. If you're serious about optimizing your workflow and want to make sure your hardware is performing at its peak, the Profiler gives you all the insights you need to make data-driven adjustments. Number 13, V-Ray Lister with Geometry Tab. Managing multiple objects in a scene can be time consuming, but the updated V-Ray Lister now includes a geometry tab, making it easy to manage proxies, decals, and other geometry objects all from one place. This makes your workflow more efficient, especially when working on large, detailed scenes. Number 14, V-Ray GPU Enhancements. Finally, let's talk about V-Ray GPU. The time to first pixel has been drastically reduced, which means you're going to see results quicker, especially in scenes with lots of scattered geometry or heavy textures. Plus, GPU support for caustics is now included, perfect for those working with glass or water, adding an extra level of realism. So that's what's new in V-Ray 7 for 3DS Max. From advanced lighting controls to faster, more flexible rendering options, this version has a lot to offer. Whether you're working on detailed ArchViz scenes or just looking to improve your workflow efficiency, these tools are here to help.